Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Waka, Kwadash, Barakatha. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusing the face. Slakia, <clears throat> brothers. So with that, I just want to uh, get straight into it. Man, this is probably going to, I don't know if it's going to be a various topics uh, video epistle, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the scriptures, man, based off the topic of, I've been meditating a lot about how, you know, all we have left is the hope of the kingdom, man, where Jacob, the nation of Israel, is on top us Jakes, man. Uh, you us so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, man. Because it's very vexing in the spirit, day after day after day, to have this devil over us, man, on top of us, man, knowing that we better. Like, you know, just through the spirit, man, these. These Elamites are very fucking nasty. These East Indians uh, target dots on their forehead, man. They shit. They less than shit. And had them, me personally, having to deal with them in the last couple of days, man. Oh, this shit is uh, fucking vexing, man. Uh, so with that, I want to uh, get some scriptures, man. So... My first uh, scripture that I'm going to get is, this is going to be the book of, um, and this is going to come out of the, of the Apocrypha. This is going to be 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and we're going to start at verse 7, and we're going to uh, read uh, down to 9, and it reads, Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So this is uh, the prophet Ezra asking the angel Uriel. When was the end times going to, man, what was going to be the parting asunder of times, man? And when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So Khan, man, because he was wondering. So he... Esdras was asking the angel a lot of questions because a lot of uh, prophecies were being revealed onto Esdras, and he would see them, but he wouldn't have the complete understanding or the meaning of it. So, continuing on in verse 8, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And that's what this is being quoted from is from Genesis uh, chapter 25. Because, and that Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau is symbolic of Jacob uh, bringing Esau down, man. Because it said that Esau would, uh, that Salakia, it said that the elder who was Esau would end up serving the younger. And that's how you know that the so-called white man uh, who is Esau, the Edomites, this is, uh, this is true because we're Jacob, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American are not ruling over Esau right now, man. So continuing on in verse nine, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So come, when it says the if it's not when it says the end of the world, it's talking about the end of an age, man. There's several different meanings for the term world, man. That's just like John 3.16 is not talking about the whole inhabited earth. But hey, those of us who, I make these videos only for 
the hopeful elect, man, the brothers that are uh, striving in this truth, man, I don't, every, anybody else, if you don't get it, I don't care. It's not meant for you to get it, man. So again, in verse nine, it says, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So come, man, once Esau's reign of terror ends, which is coming soon, then Jacob is going to rule us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And man, we're going to have the kingdom forever. So with that, we're going to uh, get some uh, precepts to this, man. And the first precept that I'm going to get, uh, bear with me, Akim, it's going to be uh, kind. Now, keep in mind, it says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So my first precept is going to be the book of um, Ecclesiasticus. It's so like Ecclesiastes in the Old Testament, um, chapter 7. And those of you in the know are going to know this old goody. It's oldie but goody. Uh, in verse 8 and it reads better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit man so kind that's a like uh, I want to say that's a a, a moth preset man which is perfect man that's a perfect preset to uh, this second estrus man because it's going to be better when they, at the end of Esau's kingdom, man. And who is the patient, man? Us, the saints, man. The hopeful elect, man. The 144,000 of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. When we take the kingdom. So, Khan, with that, I want to uh, get a, uh, another precept. Let me see what I got. Okay, Khan, I'm going to just go here. What we got lined up and uh, all through the spirit, empower you how by Shem Yahweh Shai. We're going to uh, hope I can break it down. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, uh, chapter 10. Oh, Khan, yeah, yeah. In verse 8, man, this is uh, your pa, man, beautiful. Uh, let me highlight this for you, Akim. Yeah, and it reads, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So Khan, man, Esau got this kingdom. He was set up by the Most High. But how did he get it? How did he build it up? By deceit, man. Uh, he got riches by deceit. He caused injuries by deceit, and all his dealings were unrighteous, and they're always unrighteous, man. So this is perfect because the Most High is about to transfer this kingdom that we're now in, that's we're under rulership under Esau, onto us Israelites, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans, and the confusion of faith brothers who see goes back to a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, man. So, Khan, let me see if I uh, what other precepts I got lined up, bro. Y'all got to forgive me, man. It's long days at work, man, at the plantation, like literally kicking my ass if I sound tired. But, hey, it's all good, man. Oh, let me see real quick. Bear with me, I can. I'm in my uh hard sword. And then whatever I find, I'm gonna pull it up on the uh on this laptop, man. Oh yeah, Khan Khan talking about speaking of Esau, it's the end. And Jacob is the beginning. Con, we're going to go to, oh, oh, man, this is going to lead into another precept. And then I'll end it. I won't make this video too long. I can. But this is the book of uh, Numbers, chapter uh, 24. Bear with me, man. This fucking mouse is acting retarded. 
Okay, that's Satan, man. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 2. And verse 20. Oh, yeah, Satan don't want this to come out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Numbers 24 and verse 20, it reads, And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever, man. So come. These fucking gutter rats, Amalek, the top nation of Edom, of Esau, and Amalek is Esau's grandson, and we're going to get that too. But the, the, it's going to end, like it said in uh, Second Esdras, man. Uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it, that which will follow. So I'm going to read this one more again before we get this uh, closing precept. And it reads, And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perished forever, man. So come, man. We, and that's according to Obadiah. Matter of fact, we're going to get that real quick before I get the precept to this that I got lined up for us. Well, matter of fact, I'm going to go to that first. Bear with me. I can't. So lucky. I know I'm all over the place. But hey, this was one of those through the spirits uh, video epistles. So this is Genesis chapter 36 because we're going to get proof. Uh, we just start at verse 1 who uh Amalek uh was who this is speaking about man oh here we go right here well you know what I'm gonna just go into my heart so real quick and get it for sure because that's where I was looking at this at earlier <laughs> Come, 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 man. Verse 12. And Timnah was concubine to Eliphaz, Esau's son. And she bare to Eliphaz Amalek. And these were the sons of Adah, Esau's wife. So come, man. Amalek is Esau's grandson. And Amalek is the top tribe. And we just read in Numbers uh, where it says that, uh, and he looked on Amalek, and he took up a, up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perished forever. So kind, He's, Amalek is the top tribe of Edom, man. So uh, with that, uh, where was I at? Well, with that, uh, shit, we're going to end it. So, hopefully this video was edifying to those of you who came across it, man. You know, I'm just uh, enduring to the end, man. You know, keep on giving, having complete and total faith in Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, man. That he's going to uh, do his thing, man, and send his son back. And he's gonna, they're gonna, we're going to be redeemed, Lord willing, that we're those men, man. So with that, once again, I want to say call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which is Salaki Waha Kodash, Barakata, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit bless you. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word and taught me this truth. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to you, Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. A ball, a ball, and shalom.